a lot of developers want to be able to talk to their chatbot, to make it more conversational. SAP Conversation AI has added support for speech-to-text. So, for example, now it displays a microphone button and handles the click of that button and can handle the, uh, the capturing of the audio and even has a display area for interim transcription so you can see the translation in real time. What it doesn't do is actually transcribe the audio to text, and you need a service to do the transcriptions. We'll use the IBM Cloud service. In my blog, which I'll leave a link to in the description, I explain all of the capabilities and what it doesn't support. And now let's look at how we can add speech to text to a UI5 application. Okay, let's implement speech to text. We'll just take a quick look through the code uh, and explain how we did this. So we'll take a UI5 application. We'll take the uh, UI5 application, that was the basis for the code challenge uh, in the community in March. And this allowed you to upload a file, change it, uh, download it, um, and use it as your avatar in the community. So I implemented a feature that was a chatbot that lets you open up the chatbot and let you import a avatar from the community. So you can specify a community ID. It would check if that's a valid profile, get the image, and load it into the image editor. So I wanted to add speech to text to this. So let's see how we did that. This is the UI5 application of the code challenge. Basically has one view and one controller, of course. And what we did was we added three files and made some small modification to the uh, controller file. So the first file was very, very simple, which was to uh, contain all of our tokens, channel IDs, um, and configuration information for the chatbot, as well as for the speech-to-text service. Obviously, normally you would uh, create a, a service and dynamically create the token. Uh, but we did it here for simplicity. The next file is the web client bridge. So these are the methods that the chatbot expects when implementing speech for text. It also can include other unrelated uh, callbacks. And if you look at here, we followed the guidelines of the documentation, which was to create an interface JavaScript file with the methods but to have a separate implementation object. So that's what we did. Uh, you can see that there's a implementation method that takes all of the calls and routes them to the implementation. And then there are six main uh, speech-to-text methods, and those define, okay, the, the configuration tells the chatbot to show the microphone, Start listening is called when somebody clicks the microphone, stop listening when they stop talking, and so forth. There's one other method here that we've implemented, which is the on message uh, to intercept the messages from the chatbot. Uh, it's not related specifically to speech to text, but in this case, we intercept the message that we get from the uh, chatbot, and if it's related to a valid community ID, we use it to retrieve the avatar. So now we have the implementation method. This is different for whatever service you're using. We're using the IBM service. This file is available in the documentation. And we'll just look at uh, two methods, the get config method and the start listing method. The get config method as long as you return an object, even an empty object, this will ha lead the chatbot to show the microphone. And then we have the start listing method, which in this particular case, when the user clicks the microphone button, uh, this starts a WebSocket and creates callback functions for that WebSocket. So for example, uh, when the WebSocket opens, uh, when the WebSocket receives a message, and so forth. And if we go to that callback function, 
in the on message, we can see that if a message is received from the transcription service from the IBM speech to text service, we take that uh, uh, those results and we use the chatbot on STT result method to put it in the chatbot. Finally, in the controller, we load these files um, into the application. There's also a reference to Lodash because one of these uh, implementation methods uses Lodash. And in the on after rendering method, we do two things. We save a reference to the image editor in the Windows object, in the window object, so we can access it uh, from our other files. And we load the chatbot. And that's all we need to do in the controller. So if we now go back and we say, OK, I want to load a different avatar. So I can click here, get Oops, I wasn't I wasn't fast enough. Get me another avatar. Okay, it understood it good enough to uh, to know that I wanted another avatar. Bella David, and I say the profile of the person I want to whose avatar I want to load, and then it loads. That's how to create speech-to-text in your chatbot in a UI5 application. In the description, I'll leave links to the official documentation as well as to my blog. Thanks for watching.